Jennifer Branch and today we're starting a new series on painting reflections in watercolor. First, I'm going to give you some quick tips on painting reflections today to get us started. Next week we're going to paint these beautiful Southwest Harbor dinghies that look like they're floating on a smooth mirror. Then we'll add a few more ripples with Canadian goslings. Aren't they cute? And finally, We'll finish up the series with these Portofino boats that are absolutely gorgeous and really complicated to paint, so that should be interesting. So let's paint! Absolutely gorgeous lake scene, very peaceful in the evening. The first thing I want you to notice is all reflections come directly towards you, the viewer. They're not determined by the sun like shadows. They come directly towards you, the artist, painting them. Notice this one. Everything comes right towards it. And yes, I changed things a little bit for paintings. Next, the angle of the viewer determines length of reflection. Basic physics, it's a mirror. So realize it's a mirror. Sometimes it's going to be a really long reflection. Sometimes it's going to be a really short reflection. It's all going to determine by where you're standing. Next, reflected colors are less saturated. Reflected whites are duller. This looks really freaky here. Really bright colors in the reflection. This is much more comfortable to look at. This looks nice. We do the whites bright and it's just disturbing. So always reflected whites are duller. So now we've gone over three rules that are true of every single reflection. Now it's time to go over a couple guidelines that are usually true 95% of the time, but light changes will change them. Usually light reflections are darker and dark reflections are lighter, but the time of day, light bouncing, all sorts of interesting effects can make a big difference. So always look at what's actually there. Usually water lines are more horizontal in the distance and they're closer together, but sometimes weather and light and wind patterns and tides will change all that. So always look at what's there. I hope this helped. You have a couple ideas on painting reflections in watercolor and I can't wait for the rest of the series. The fun part, the actual painting. We're going to be painting those goslings and lots of boats. So please subscribe if you like this and you want to be part of this series. And happy painting. See you next week.